G'day YouTube, Hobbit81 here, and I'm here on Bambi and Hobbit's Realm. This is the um, Mushroom Island, which you've seen in the introduction. The uh, wind coming up there in the background. And I am here with a good friend of mine, Mr. Photo Ninja. Say hello, Mr. Photo. Hello, everybody. Um, Bambi and I have um, been working on a Japanese theme on this island, as you can see. Only just a few starts of it. We have the uh, shrine over here, which we came through in the introduction for the portal. We can get through there. You can see. And um, Photo Ninja has decided that he would like to also build over here. And um, the only condition was it has to be Japanese. So let's go have a look what he's up to. We've got a uh, small enchanting area set up here that you can step on. Bring it up for level ones. Fall off it. Right up here. Nice set of long stairs. Go. Bambi made this one. Up here. And we have a um, very functional, if not maze like tree farm going on here. We've got a lot of oak. Let's see if I can get up. Big ones at the top, we've got the dike oaks at the top here. Where are they? I think we should maybe put a path through the uh, tree farm, that might make things easier. Here we go. Okay, up to the top. Nice birch. Ah, and off in the distance we can see what Mr. Ninja's been working on. Okay, being a mushroom island, nothing's going to spawn here. And we made sure that the bridge. Going over the uh, ocean biome there. There's a um, half stab property to prevent mob spawning. Here we go. Coming up on Fern and Ninja's base here. Yeah. Let's see. I really like these stairs here. These are clever. Thanks. Yeah, I was working on them. I didn't get them finished yet. Welcome. Hello. You. Official welcome to the server. Wow, you have been busy with this. Yeah, I need to redo the entrance because I accidentally messed up and it doesn't match the sides. I see. So what I what is it that you are making? I'm making an octagon pagoda and ah. it's going to be a couple stories high. Very nice. We've got a um, couple other pagodas being built on the island so it should fit in very nicely. Yep, I wanted to go with the hilltop theme because I'm really fond of high up places. Yeah, it's always been a, um, a theme of mine too. I've always been fond of um, pretty much dangerous places. Yeah. If it's not dangerous, then it's not going to be one of my builds. <laughs> here. Whoop. Yeah, and then he went off the edge then. See? And you can see the little shrine down there. From all points on the island, once you get up high, you get really nice views from everywhere. Very nice. I even installed a little floating island to hold my mushrooms and small farm. Oh, very nice. Everything you need to get started. Yep. And then when it gets bigger, I'm eventually going to expand it into a larger island. Mm -hmm. And very I also nice. have my mine. I was wondering about that. There's some sort of death on trap. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, Long way down. Whoa. Yep, goes all the way down to level 11. Very nice. Just make sure when you're digging out, you check your uh, biomes. If you start digging out under the ocean, you're gonna have a few little visitors. Yep. And then it's a it's a little bit of a lengthy climb back up, but I don't have anything yet. I could either do a Minecraft elevator or a boat elevator to quickly get up, but for now, I just have ladders. All right, perfect. All right, bit of a climb here, so I'll be back in a minute. And now that we're back, I wanted to show you around what um, Bambi and I have been working on. Obviously we have a few mushrooms. I'm not quite sure what to do with the mushroom farm yet. 
and we have the resources we've covered so far. My favourite thing to do lately is to put the items in an anvil and uh, name them. So when you get close enough to the ones that have been named, it comes up. Particularly good if you have one like crafted stone, so it's not just a, a chest for stairs, but it's any crafted stone, other rocks, expensive stuff, good fud, uh, gold ingots, a few of them still need to be named. It takes um, one experience level to name an item, but you can do a whole stack at a time. I don't know why I'd want a whole stack named, but if you need to, you can. I've just got some basic little farms going here. Haven't found any pumpkins yet. Have not yet been out uh, world exploring that much. So we have got only a little bit done so far, and the uh, rest of it's all going to be filmed. I've got to show you the enchanting setup as well. I'm not quite happy with the redstone, I want to fix this up again a bit later. At the moment it's set up so you can stand <coughs> on the pressure plate and it pops it up so that it becomes level 1 enchanting. It's not going to work because it's already enchanted. So you can do level 1 and then when you step off it <coughs> you can get up to your level 30s, providing you've got the uh, levels for it. And obviously you can there. Spare one in there for someone. First one to find it gets to keep it. <coughs> I remember that I had to uh, make that because the first one I made I managed to somehow skip it. I think I used some resources that were already there so I didn't get the achievement for making the enchanting table. Alright, now I'm going to go do some mining and then we'll be back soon. Well, I've been doing some video editing and I found that I've actually got a lot of footage, uh, particularly for the seed tour and the um, speed build at spawn. So I think I might leave this episode here for now. And next episode we're going to do some uh, mining over for the uh, project over there. And we'll have a bit of a talk about what the plan is for this season and um, what I'll be doing. So thank you very much everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next one.